Well, Miss Congeniality, uh, when you think of RuPaul's Drag Race, there might be only one person you think of who's really carrying that torch. That's Nina West. She's in studio with us right now. Welcome to the Morning Beat in studio, Nina West. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Get up on that mic. How are you guys? Oh, yeah. Nina, yeah, let right me tell you something. I saw you <laughs> at the Drag Race finale, oh, and yeah. I looked at you, and I don't even know if you were looking at me, but I said, <laughs> I was looking at you. I love you. <laughs> I flipped out when I saw you because you know what? One thing I love about you is not only did you win Miss Congeniality, but your presence on and off camera is so genuine and so authentic. Thanks. I think that's why people die for you. And also the fact that you're giving us a Channel Q exclusive of your song Jingle Juice. I am. Hello, I came to bring yeah. the season. You're yeah. bringing yes. Chris He's Moss. Chris yes. Moss. Are, you, are you really a Christmas person? And how early oh, do you God. begin your Christmas? I'm, I am the Christmas person. Person. So I grew up in a household where we, where my mother encouraged decorating really okay. early. Okay. It had to be done by Thanksgiving. So that <gasps> way, yeah. Oh. oh. Tell okay. Okay. Um, first of all, <laughs> do you have? Oh yeah, the rules. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So here's the thing. Oh, These boys have been busting my chops because I said <laughs> after Halloween, October 31st, November 1st. Up goes the Christmas tree. That's how tree. I feel. That's but, how I feel. Oh that my is God. Exactly how Literally, I feel. Justin, our producer, <laughs> no. has been ridiculing, harassing. I almost had to call my lawyer on him. Justin, because this he is what you do. After Justin, me. you put it up November 1st. From the words of Nina West. <laughs> so, okay, so you're both <laughs> in the Christmas spirit, but you recorded this, uh, the West Christmas Ever. It's releasing tomorrow, tomorrow. and we are going to give an exclusive oh uh, after the break. So but um, what inspired the Christmas? Because many queens get on the show, yeah. they release some dance hits for the club yeah. and this is really special I love the idea of a Christmas thing what inspired it? I, again, I love Christmas and I love Christmas music and I love the way it makes you feel and I want to be a part of that holiday tradition yeah. you know like you know, I'm, I'm kind of unconventional I, I did a kids EP and mm -hmm. I want to work in the kids space and I was really thinking about things that I really love and yeah. like what expresses me as like as, a, as an artist and as a person and you're well, such you're the Disney of... girl too oh like, my god I'm the, the last mm -hmm. Disney that's why queen. I wore the Mickey like, shirt I love it so much <laughs> well you're gonna kind it. of become I think after the world shares this the Mariah Carey of drag race <laughs> that's right <laughs> I feel like that's what I, I want to set this up as like yeah. every year people are just waiting for you um, to go from Halloween to Christmas lying right. on your bed and some Fur. I'm gonna be <laughs> jingle juice. That's what happened. That's what happened this year, actually. No, I'm gonna wait for people to like push me around in like an office chair. I will. <laughs> just, just I'm get, gonna push you in this office chair. <laughs> just to get from point So a this to point year B. has <laughs> been an incredible year for you because you know many people um, knew, knew your work previously, yeah. and you're such a strong actor actress, and have been doing so much stage work as well. So when you came on the race, you were a clear standout <laughs> from the beginning. I think people know noticed your star power. What's life been like after RuPaul's Drag Race? Well, nothing prepares you for what happens after Drag Race. So you just have to kind of put your head down and really commit yourself to working. Mm. So I've just trying to open myself up to every opportunity, say yes to everything, and figure out what works and what doesn't work. Well, you were on the carpet for Malefic Melissa Maleficent. There we go. Uh, Melissa Fenn, honey. Melissa Fenn. For Melissa. Yeah. <laughs> you just get what was that like? Because you, you got to meet me? all these big celebrities and you were at the Emmys. I mean, you're a red carpet gal. Well, I am trying. Listen, I'm trying to find a niche, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the Emmys was overwhelming because you're you're walking really amongst people that you've admired yeah. your entire life. Um, I remember starting the red carpet and Sharon Osbourne turned around <gasps> and she looked at me and she goes, Nina! I went, oh. how does she know my name? Oh my like, God! Oh, wow. I mean, like for me, that was like this really crazy moment. Who else recognized you? Do you guys know who Jared Harris is? Yes! yes. Oh my God. Did you gag? I died. His wife and he walked over to me and were just lovely to me the entire time. Um, I love that. Uh, Sophie Turner was kind of incredible. Oh, Sophie God, Turner, Sophie Game of Thrones, Turner. Game of Thrones, Miss Jonas I mean, herself. You know yeah, what? Miss, the Miss Jonas. Miss Jonas, Jonas yeah. I was with a friend of mine yesterday, and he said that like the Columbus Queens, like the Midwest Queens, work really, really hard, and sometimes are yeah. very underrated. And so I, I think what's interesting about you is we did find you, um, some of us on Drag Race, but you had been working. Like oh this gosh, wasn't yeah. something that you woke up and you're like, maybe I'll do Drag Race. No, no, no. This was years <laughs> and years. Years and years of preparation. Yeah, I started drag 18 years ago, um, kind of on a whim. I was just gonna... right out of kindergarten. God, yeah. you're so sweet. I love you. <laughs> and I'm 24. Um, <laughs> but I started uh, 18 years ago, and 
I was going to move to New York City to pursue a career in acting. Sure. And uh, 9-11 happened. So that oh, kept, me, that kept yeah. me in Columbus. I just got scared. And um, so then I found drag. And drag kind of changed my entire life. And I've always said this. Drag saved my life because it gave me an opportunity to find my tribe, find my people that, I, that were like me, that were queer and like outspoken and artists and creative, and uh, really allowed me to flourish and find safety in myself. You yeah. know, I want to talk a little bit about the diversity of drag. You know, we are friends, obviously, with Wendy Ho and love Wendy Landon Ho. Sider, Just One Dragula. Love He's Landon. a drag king. When you talk about the art form of drag, do you feel there is room for all these other uh, different styles of drag to be a part of the community? I think drag. I think drag is anything and everything, and I think anyone who wants to do the art form should have the opportunity and the platform to do it. I think Landon Sider winning Dragula is a major major mm-hmm. step and for those in the who don't right know, direction. Landon Sider is actually a drag king. It's a it's a cisgendered yeah. female who happens to be in a loving, committed lesbian relationship mm-hmm. who is just an exceptional makeup artist and performer and transforms I will say, uh, herself into one, a man. One of the best performers I've ever seen 100%, ever. Yeah. ever. I got to see Landon perform last year before Drag Race came out and I was kind of just quietly sitting in the back of every mm-hmm. bar in Los mm-hmm. Angeles watching an entertainers yeah. perform and I got to see Landon and he is breathtaking on stage. You would and be, uh, that'd be a great collab, the oh two of my you God. and something. Can you imagine? That'd be incredible. But like, yeah, if, if we don't offer seat, a seat at the table for everybody, and this is like really, it starts, so with, true. Uh, it starts in our community. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, there's so much uh, judgment and self-hate within our own uh, queer community that we don't want people to have access and opportunity. I don't understand why it would be wrong or why it challenges someone's perceptions of uh, a drag king doing a show or a, or um, a, a cisgender, um, I, I don't know, a bio queen. I don't know how yeah. you, you know, would having an opportunity to perform on stage, what does that do to you? What does that, what does that do? take anything that, away do from you, but, yeah. You know, and so people who are speaking saying, well, that's not drag or that's... Like really, what is what decor? What is yeah. what's their problem? Well, well if you guys that? are just tuning in, we are with Nina West, uh, Miss Congeniality, and the Can most authentic, question, genuine Michaela? queen. Would you let Nina West put you in drag one day, and would you go out and drag if she said she what would? What kind of question is that? Uh, <laughs> Nina's doing my face right now, which you can't see, as Nina's already been see. beating my face. Girl, it's beat. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you don't not want me only to touch your I, face. <laughs> yes, well, no, I would not only let you beat my face, but I would sing any Christmas song with you, and you are talking about your. EP The West Christmas Ever and we are giving you the Channel Q exclusive of your single Jingle Juice yeah, no one's heard coming it yet. up next. I'm really excited. Yay. Jingle Juice. So I excited. can't stand you, Keep Nina West. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that was the world premiere of Jingle Juice off Nina West's new album West Christmas Ever. Oh my god. Let me tell you something. That gingerbread martini, honey. Sounds delicious sounds this so morning. Good right now. But what sounds more delicious is your voice. Thanks. You sound incredible and that song makes you want to have so much fun during the most fun time I'm of downloading the year. it tomorrow I will be oh. decorating my place to your album um, tomorrow so, you're going to decorate yes, tomorrow uh, well I'm going to try oh, now yeah. you guys have, uh, <laughs> listen our producer Justin inspired. and I were resistant but I'll tell you what Justin we, we made him watch Drag Race a couple of the episodes he is a diehard fan now and you specifically as a straight man he's you're one of his favorite all time queens isn't yeah. that right Justin well not only was he one of my favorite queens he was one of my picks that's, that's right. it turn his mic off turn his mic off turn his mic off turn his mic off so <laughs> real <laughs> so and we know so much about you we know you love Disney Disney. So oh Justin's God, created Disney. a little game for us oh, here that here he's going to run. It's a Disney-related game. Okay, here yeah, we go. Yeah, so okay. I have from Ranker.com. Oh God. <laughs> Sounds kind of trashy. Okay. Oh. All right, I'm ready for it. The top five okay. Disney soundtracks. Oh. oh. Am I supposed to name them in order? No. No. Oh, it is any... the top five, and Nina, as our guest, you will go first. Okay. You get to just take your first guess. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Go ahead. Jingle juice. Just kidding. Oh, wait, so wait, 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 wait. Just take your a guess. Top, top five. Oh, Lion King. Easily. Hakuna Matata. Yeah. Only number one. <laughs> yeah. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Michaela. Michaela. Little Mermaid. Uh, oh. yeah. Yeah. I always lose. I'm so happy. Under the sea is okay, so here's what I want to guess either Aladdin oh. or Frozen because that stupid song oh. got stuck in all the kids' heads. Oh, it's Okay, so I'm guess? gonna guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead with New School, and I will say Frozen. Although I don't think it made the cut. I think it did. Really? See, no! it didn't. How yeah. did that? How was number it, twelve it's, on the list? It's oh, too you're new. Lying. Oh no, it's too new. Okay, all right. Well, five. Okay, so we got two. Okay, so yeah. I'm going number to number one and number four. Beauty and the Beast. Easily. Good one. Good one. Ooh, that's a good, good one. one. That's that got to be on there. Let's see. B. 
Number yes. three. Yes. yes. Again, if you're just yes. tuning us, we're with Nina West in studio now playing the top five <laughs> Disney <laughs> albums of all time. I love that you guys know me so well. I also love that uh, Nina West and I wanted to sing Be Our Guest, but the timing was also off, and we're like, Be Our Guest. Happy hour. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> number two and number five left. Michaela, a uh, guess, please. I'm going to say, can you, Nina West, paint with all the colors? <gasps> Pocahontas? Do you think Pocahontas? Oh. 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 That's a lie. Oh, that was a beautiful God. song, and Nina agrees. Jay, I, so we did. Uh, I'm going to guess Aladdin then. I can show you the world. Yeah. Number two. I used to sing this all the time. Thought I was him. I had a little monkey on my on my shoulder. Yeah, the little monkey stuffed out. I thought it was Aladdin. Yeah, that's, that's so perfect. Cute. It's a good casting for me. That's yeah. so cute. It's, <laughs> it's crazy because like these are like the Ashman Menken like songbook basically. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nina, your last guest to possibly take the win. Number okay. five. You okay, got so, it, Nina. Okay, so wait. So we've said Aladdin. We've said Beauty and the Beast. We've said Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. Yeah. We mm-hmm. said Lion King. Lion King. Oh, this I am is the last going one. to say. Wait, this is Ranker Top all Ranker.com time. Ranker.com Top 5 Disney Soundtracks. I'm going to say Mary Poppins. Oh. oh. No. You kidding. Oh. I'm oh, sorry. You're Jeez. lying. That was a you little know, it's not my list. It's not my list. You know, that is like, like their only one that won an Oscar for Best Song originally. Was, I never was said I didn't disagree with Ranker. you. I just said it's not my list. Ranker needs to go sit down. <sighs> Michaela, I think it's on you now. I don't, I'm not, my armpits are sweating. I don't know. Um, I'm going to say, People okay. are shouting this so, in their cars right now. Well, stop shouting. <laughs> it's not my fault. Lion okay, King, Lion King, Aladdin. Aladdin. Snow White didn't do much. She was no. Soundtracks, soundtracks. Uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland. She was no, going down the rabbit no, hole. No. Took a turn. Yeah. I'm going to say... Oh, it was Pinocchio so no. cute. No, 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 don't, say no, no. don't say that. Oh my God. Okay. Um. I don't know. Disney. I'm gonna say Disney. I just went to Disneyland. Who did I love? Who did I love? Who did I love? Who do you want a picture with? What's this? Uh, who's the princess? Who's the princesses? Who's the princesses? It's only four hours. No way. Who's the princesses? Who's the princesses? Okay, no, I feel. Uh, I don't know. Disney on ice. I went when I was little. Uh, okay. All right. Well. Fine. <laughs> Jay, your final guess. All right, Who, so we watched. Let's see. We got Lion King. We got uh, we got a Little Mermaid, Aladdin. Um, you already guessed some of the biggest ones I think that exist. Cars. I mean, that's not uh, no. No. Um, no one knows. Life is a highway. Yeah, that was on Rascal Flats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so no. really, team effort. No, no guesses. Anyone? I We're feel all like stumped. I, have co- I feel like I'm Man. worthless right now. Oh, all oh right. God, what so it? what's the fifth? So number five. Surprisingly enough. <laughs> Mulan. That girl I, see I know, right? Mulan. 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 Listen, it oh, launched listen. Christina Aguilera's career. <laughs> it did. It was her first major song, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. No, also, Leia I... Salonga is the singing voice of Mulan. That's right. She yeah. is everything. Amazing. Me. Friend to the community for it a long time, huge, ever. Yeah. yeah. I but feel like not letting Pocahontas into that list, but but letting Mulan. I, f- I love Mulan, but I feel like that beating up Mary Poppins. Are you kidding? I think yeah. it's the. I, I don't mean, know. Mary Poppins flew. Oh, she geez. flew. <laughs> With an umbrella. All right, All right Nina West, now tell the kids where they can <laughs> find you um, because I know that you're about to embark on a holiday <laughs> tour. You've got a bunch of yeah. dates coming up. Where can the kids go see you live? And then where can they find you online? You have a lot of merch. I have so a lot I may of go start digging in. <laughs> I opened it yesterday. I was like, I'm buying one of everything. <laughs> yeah, you can find me. I'm going to be on the road with uh, Murray and Peter's A Drag Queen Christmas The Naughty List touring all over the country this uh, holiday season. We kick off in New Jersey. We're coming to Los Angeles and every major city in between. So uh, find out the dates on ninawest.com uh, or go to dragfans.com and get your tickets now. Um, just another quick little shout out about the EP. Jim Cummings, who's a Disney legend, mm-hmm. does uh, uh, voice interludes on the on the EP. Wow. Uh, his wife and and his daughter were huge fans of Drag Race. Wow. And Jim is uh, the voice of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger <gasps> yeah. and Darkwing Duck and um, um, Dark Queen Duck. I can't these, believe that they, and did you find these, them or they found you? I met Jim at D23 because I'm a big Disney nerd. D23 is the Disney fan convention. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so I, I met Jim at uh, D23 and um, just befriended him and asked him and said, hey, I'm doing this Christmas EP and I would really love for you to be a part of it. And he said, yeah. So he's the voice of Father Christmas. And Ask and you shall receive. And Nina West, never enough yeah. time with you. Make sure you visit ninawest.com. We love you. I'm going to Disney with you. Yeah, and Michaela are. is getting a drag makeover. I want a drag Disney. makeover at, Dis- <laughs> at Disneyland. And if I don't, also I will be listening to Jingle Juice from your album West Christmas Ever, which comes out tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank you. We love you. Love we are you so, so proud yeah. of you. Thank Come you. drop by whenever you want. I Open door. You guys, I love you guys. Thanks Stick for having around. me. Stick around. We are the new Channel. I almost said we're the new Jingle Juice. <laughs> Why are. did I say Maybe that? We are.